All right, guys, I want to share with you some patterns you could do uh, on your own or with, a, or with a partner, and you don't have to worry about how good of a player you're hitting against. So this is where you're going to get a defensive backhand, so you're going to hit, feed the ball very deep, and then you give a short ball for the player to come in and hit hard. But notice I'm feeding as they're about to hit the ball. So that makes them work on these patterns of either you're being on the offensive or you're being on the defensive. Also, it makes you move really, really fast. So this is a drill that I got from some of the high-level college players that I would hit with, and I would ask them, you know, what did your coach do? And this seemed to be a common one where you can do a lot of patterns. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, this eight-ball pattern of a deep defensive backhand and an offensive forehand and it's a good conditioning drill too so we kind of share that together so a little bit faster version of that you know so you can see that I'm just trying to keep aggressive in the, uh, on the forehand and really get back fast on the forehand um, and recovering back and forth back and forth so it's um it's just a really good drill for you for you to try out and there's other patterns um, that you guys can make up I'm just going to give you the three major ones and kind of working on uh, you know how comfortable you are with that so this is the opposite one so you're going to have a defensive forehand with an offensive backhand so doing this I just kind of slower motion is you're trying to make sure that, you know, you notice that Eric's left foot, he's a lefty, obviously, obviously, so, you know, swinging your hip around allows recovery. So that kind of is something to think about when you're hitting these balls. Notice he can get back in position very quickly when he swings his hip around, and that keeps him um, from being a little too off balance on these balls, right? He's pretty planted, even though I'm pretty, I'm pushing him pretty hard on these. Also, you can kind of see how um, tired you get, you know, if you're standing straight up or you're staying low. Um, th this isn't easy, especially with an uh, eight ball drill. You know, you're hitting a lot of balls and you got to really focus on this. So um, just kind of focusing on your legs and recovery. And it's really uh, tough to do when you're moving around like this. Um, also, you might want to consider, too, the type of ball you're hitting. So offensively, I'm driving the ball. Um, over here, I'm trying to lift up. See, I br brought my back uh, sh my back shoulder down so I could lift to the ball. So I'm trying to get the ball deep with spin. Here, I'm trying to drive the ball with my shoulders and everything going forward. So um, try that one. This is my favorite one, though, because it's so unpredictable. And you can do whatever you want. So I can kind of have I had fun with this with Eric. I would just give forehands anywhere I wanted. But so he had to hit a forehand on every ball I give, and it's all random. It just depends on how I see him moving. And you can see he's got see how he stopped, and he wasn't moving his feet too much while he finished his shot. And that just right there just shows how fast he is and how he's able to, you know, think about how to hit these balls. So I was really pushing him to to challenge and move and move and hit these forehands. That's kind of how Rafael Nadal feels, you know. That's why he's so hard to beat. So you got to be really fast. You know, fed the ball before he even finished hitting. So it made him, you know, really push himself there. So you can tell that, you know, Eric was trying to push me too. And it's it's hard because you have no idea where the ball is going. So I like this one a lot just because the unpredictability of it. And it's such a good workout. You know, you can see my feet are constantly moving. And that's what it should be. That's how really high-level players do in a regular match. They just move, move, move constantly. So hopefully that helped. And give it a try. And don't forget to subscribe to my blog for weekly tips to improve your game. Thanks for watching.